Hi, welcome back, Embrace the Chaos Podcast, episode 10. We're still, we're still good with fingers. Double digits. D- double digits, baby. <laughs> more, pretty soon we'll have more episodes than we do views. We haven't, we haven't been canceled, though. That's the important thing. <laughs> well, who's going to cancel it? Someone <laughs> has to see it to cancel it. <laughs> so, welcome back. Today's topic is going to be similar to something we did a couple weeks ago. Because, you know, why not double down on stuff that didn't work out great? No, we're just going to be who we are. That, that's all this podcast is going to be. So, is who we are. Let our family and friends know right now, for those of you that aren't sharing this and liking it, if this doesn't get 100 views, we're doing puppets next week. Yes. Like the puppet that I shared in my short, there's going to be two of those. It's going to be him and mine. Oh, we're, we're going all in on the puppets if we go <laughs> And that you way. will be embarrassed by what we do. Because so I wasn't allowed to use this as a puppet. Or else we'd be doing there's this There's no mouth. Week. It has to have a mouth. That's fine. That has a mouth. But that, that doesn't. Here's my puppet. So this week, unlike last week where we had to defend stuff that bothers us, pet peeves. Um, again, Peter Griffin's What Grinds My Wheels. is uh, He has a choice to defend or agree with. So we're going to allow you to agree with the stupidity. Okay, good, good. That, that needs an hour. I, I don't know what I was thinking. Like, I, I did not it. like having to defend the idiots last week. So No, so he, I, I got a couple. I'm going to start with the first one. When you're arguing with someone online, yes, I argue with people online. It passes time. This, this wasn't my original. It just came to me. And they will say, so right now I'm debating with someone on next people on next door. They're like, oh, all these companies are charging you credit card fees if you use a credit card. It's cheaper if you use cash. I said, oh, I haven't seen these. And they're like, well, you guys just don't eat out. I'm like, yeah, no, I all the time between me and Cindy and me on the road, right. always eating out. I haven't seen these fees. So I said, well, what are some of the restaurants that you see this on? I'm like, maybe I'm missing out some good local stuff, you know, trying to, trying to be nice, trying to say, hey, I think you're lying without saying it. And they come back with most of the Italian places in the area are, no, no, Cindy like, loves so, Italian. So they're just saying, yeah. Only the credit card companies go, if it's Italian, let's add a fee in there. But anything else. No, so like, you know, credit card companies add the fees to restaurants and right. businesses. And most of them build that into their price. Right. So meatball subs, $10, that's taken into account credit cards. Right. So they're saying and so they're, now they're saying are going or charging $10 plus a dollar. So they're not factoring it in instead of being $11. Right. So they're saying at the end, so you have your, your total, the tax, tip, subtotal, credit card fee. Right. Right, I think I think they're doing two go orders. I don't think they're realizing that's just a two go order fee or something that most people don't tip. So I said, okay, well we eat out, and I named Gino's, Antonio's, Angelo's, G- uh, Rosa's, like all Italian places right in this area that we go to all the time that this never happened to. So I said, name a specific place. I would like to visit this place. Oh, they don't have a place because you're like you you are visiting these places because you want cash not to go away. So you're saying these places give. Benefits on cash, so we should be visiting them. Well, if you don't tell me what they are, I can't go. But you don't have any. You just heard this, and now you're doubling down on a lie. Oh, it's, well, it's like well a that, that, game that's game. a huge thing with, with people. They're, they're going to say a lie, and they're going to back it till, till there's not one person who, who can even think it's believable at that point. Yeah, it's like, okay, I've, I've given my viewpoint. I told you places I've been to. And no, nothing's happened. I haven't seen this anywhere I've been to. Tell me a place that's happened to you personally. And I can't. And that's the problem with online idiots who just do this stuff. I, I, I can, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to double down on this topic since you haven't agreed or disagreed yet. They do it to Andrew Tate. They're like, oh, he, he never mentioned charities before. But now that he got arrested, whatever, nothing showed up. Um, and now he's like, oh, no, I have these charities. They're like, oh, now you're bragging about the charities. He's like, what do you want me to do? Like, you said I was an evil person. So I said, I'm an evil person who, who flies kids from Romania to American homes to get something like that. He had like $25 million to Israel to help with food. And he has a Romania dog. Like, he adopts stray dogs and gets some of this stuff. Up until he got arrested, he said, I'm not bragging about that. I feel stupid bragging about my charity. But now I realize I need some good PR because people are saying I'm an evil person without realizing anything about me. So I don't know if I'm like defending Andrew Tate or the people you're arguing about with Andrew Tate. Uh, but what I will say is, one, that whole situation is weird to me because it's like, oh, he's this really bad guy. And then there's these other people. Oh, he, he's kind of just an honest guy. And, and I don't, again, I don't even think I've watched a full video of him. So I don't know that much about him. Uh, but what I do know is 
he disappeared. He got arrested, and this famous person gets arrested, and no news came out anywhere for like a month. Like I still haven't heard it. He just disappeared in Romania. For all I know, he, so, he's a vampire, and only comes out at night. I don't, I don't know what's going on there. But what I will say is, if you're, we live in a society now. Whatever side of the line you're on. That's you feel it. Like That's you can't it. cross it. <laughs> and, and there's even times when we do the LeBron Jordan debate that I even find myself because you get so frustrated at the other side of the fence not crossing ever. And this actually isn't you. Like you'll you'll yeah, no, it. so long as John's had, had you'll a go, longer career. You'll, you'll see people who go, you'll get in the LeBron debate and and I have to I have to basically say Jordan's not a good player because if you admit he's a good player, you're admitting and, and I had someone <laughs> going circular with this thing the other day for like an hour. He's and we're going back and forth in, in messages, and he was like, well, he didn't beat Bird because the teammates weren't good. I was like, so teammates matter? He goes, well, look at the teams um, that they played, and it just goes back and forth. So finally, you're just like, no, he sucks. Jordan sucks. Like, obviously, you don't believe that, but that is what you see everywhere. People don't have actual arguments with anything. They just go, that's my opinion. What do you mean you yeah, disagree with it? My, my, like, opinion, <laughs> my opinion is a fact. So Andrew Tate... Got arrested in Romania. Spent, I think, two or three months in jail while they try to find is stuff Is he still on in him. jail? No, he, he's been released on house arrest. So he's not really allowed. And they shut down his Instagram. They, they took all his cars. So the first time that he got almost arrested, a girl had said that she kidnapped him. Wait, that she kidnapped him? That, that he, can, he, he, <laughs> he kidnapped her. I think he just lost some credit. <laughs> that he, can, he kidnapped her, right? So he's going through this whole thing. And they originally were going to arrest him and this and that. And look, he has videos in his house. What happened is she had called her boyfriend, who was not rich, and, she, and he said, when are you coming home? And she said, I'm not allowed to leave right now. Hung up her phone and turned her phone off. So she didn't have to talk to him. Because she's hanging out with all these millionaires, having a time of her life on the weekend. And the videos, the videos showed her just walking around freely. She could have left any time she wanted to. But her boyfriend, who believed her, because that's what Guys people do, do we're dumb. called the police and said, my girlfriend is in Andrew Tate's house. She's not being allowed to leave. She's being held hostage. And so now they did a wellness up. check, or did they actually arrest no, her? No, they, they thought that everything was true. And yeah. she didn't want to admit to her boyfriend that she's out there. And that's the hard part, because a lot of these situations, you don't know what the actual truth is. And that's the hardest part about being oh, right. a if, celebrity if, now is if they, they could be right, they could be wrong. You look at the punter from Buffalo. We were talking about that before. Yes, yes. Like, his whole career was, I don't, he could be an evil dude. I have no idea. I, I know nothing about him. And if he did half the things they said about him. Like, well, no, I mean, the video shows he had left the house. Right. But if he was that guy at the right. time. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously. If he did some other time you don't know, right? Yeah. We, we, oh, yeah, no. If I, I don't Tate, encourage any of that. But what I'm saying is, without any proof, they ruined this whole, this whole man's career just with word of mouth. People say you have freedom of speech. You do. But it doesn't mean, I mean, in a lot of cases, you're kind of just screaming fire in the movie theater on these people. Right. And, and just destroying Hoping. their whole lives. It, but it works both ways because it gets manipulated the other way too. It's like, oh, that's not a big deal. <laughs> if you actually heard the whole story, like, oh yeah, not too like, huge. The, the whole Hunter Biden laptop thing, like when you go into that, and we're not getting into that too far because we're we're trying to stay anti political. But if you just look at some of the things, like I know recently they published like all these every file from his computer and stuff like that, all the pictures. <laughs> it's like I bet you if you saw half these pictures, it tell a much different story, right? But it's the same principle as whoever controls the narrative controls the story, and people don't want to hear the truth well, about they it. They want to hear, hear, well, this is what I heard in the narrative, and that's just fact. Right, you, you look at stuff to back up your opinion. So, like, if, if Andrew Tate was found to be a sex trafficker, like they, they said. Yeah, lock him up forever. Oh, yeah, sure, yeah, no, then I officially hate him. Like, I don't even agree with everything he says. I just think it's funny that the men in society, Goggins, Peterson, Tate, are all being vilified. For trying to help young men not kill themselves. <laughs> but what, whatever. <laughs> anyway, so we went, went down a deep turn there. Yeah. So people, when you're making an argument, someone asks you to specifically say proof. When I'm asking for proof, you're, you're making a statement that something exists. I'm asking you for proof. You have to prove it. It's yeah. that old Bigfoot thing. Bigfoot exists. Okay, show me. I mean, I got, I got a Bigfoot shirt on. <laughs> Show me. Show me. I can't prove he doesn't exist. Yeah, it, it doesn't mean that you can't disagree. But and people get it confused with us all the time. Like, we disagree and we get in, like, loud discussions and debates. That's the whole reason we started to do a podcast together, right? Because some people found it entertaining when we really get into it. But we always have, even if we 
outside of the instances where we're just being a little silly with each other, most of the time we have a basis for our argument. Like, I don't go, hey, he is the best at this because I say so. Uh, I you, say so. That's, 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 a, that's a new end all yeah, of that, that's, that's just what it is. And I, and I also don't go, you know what? I live in the best house in the world because snakes don't go there. Like, it, it, it's not a real argument. So people have to learn how to debate again. But there's so much fear, and, and I honestly believe this. I, I think you have two different types of people outside of normal people who do these chats, who do these discussions online. You have the person who goes, I am so scared of someone misinterpreting something I read and coming at me, um, the backlash of it all. And then you have other people, and I know a few of these, shout out to Donnie, because I know he's one of them who would do this stuff, who just go there to piss people off. Oh, I know. There's he, times where he's I'm just going to say things to piss people off. He doesn't agree with them. Uh, now he might, and but I, there's a lot of people out there who just do it. I, I don't even agree with it. It's like, hey, I hate dogs. You know, it's not how that person act. Or like, if I were to get on a chat board just to piss people off, saying hate dogs, obviously it's not true. I love dogs, um, but yeah, it, right. it's one of those things. And and but the biggest issue is that fear of actually debating, or maybe it's just the fear of being wrong. Like, losing the debate. I hate losing. I hate losing debates. But at the same time, I am not going to be afraid to have the debate. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Who cares? Like, okay, so it sounds like you agree with me on this one. I, I do. I okay. completely agree with you. So I'll pass it off to you for, right. for your So I, I got mine, and it took me a second. I was going to go down the whole making fun of YouTubers and... Um, us. And us, yes. Uh, but more the dumb shit that's out there. But I'm not going to do that. Uh, yeah, yeah, the puppet thing, I guess, would fall into the same things, but that's... The short, the short's yeah, out there. Yeah, but the one I'm going to go at you with is something that... So I'll give you a little background. When I went to Subway the other day... Um, you go to Subway still? My son loves Subway. Um, I, I, I rarely... Right. Yeah, okay, yeah. No, that, that I, I rarely sense. eat it, but... If, if, you're over 20, if you're over 21 and you're not poor, you should not be going to Subway. Well, I know a bunch of people like Subway, but neither here nor there. Um, I'm not... But, I'll eat it occasionally, but I'm not a big fan. So we went there, and I was like, all right. And matter of fact, it was yesterday. And he gets a sandwich that's a little outside the norm, but it's not crazy. It's ham, turkey, extra bacon. Um, but that's, that's all it is, that and pickles. So, <laughs> um, and cheese, sorry. I was down with that until you said pickles. Yeah. So he gets that, and every time we go there, it's a different standard for what that is going to cost. Right, so most of the time it costs ten to fourteen dollars. It's really an American without some of the things and with extra bacon. So some people make will charge for the extra bacon. Some people won't. And when I went there yesterday, I got that and a couple of cookies, and they said twenty two dollars. And I went to pay. I was like, wait a minute. I know prices are going up all the time, like daily. It seems. Yeah, inflation isn't real. Inflation is very real. Uh, yeah, if you don't make hundred k a year. Yeah, it's, or 150 as a family. Yeah, it's, you know, you, you you feel it. Yeah, you you, you feel it. Uh, so I, I'm going there, and I'm and so I asked the lady, I'm like, why is this so much? How much are the cookies? <laughs> so it's, I'm thinking maybe the cookies are two dollars a cookie. I got three of them. The cookies turned out to be two bucks. Cookies are still cheap, which that's a completely separate thing. That that would be my second one of why junk food is so much cheaper than healthier food. It's, oh, uh, it's not. All right. Not it's always cheaper than healthier. Cheaper than healthier. Yeah. I was like, it's not cheap. But we're sitting there, and she goes, well, he got ham, and he got bacon, and extra bacon. And I end up, usually I would argue this point, and there'd be an incident. But because I had my son there, and because we, I had plans to go see a movie, I was like, you know, I'm not even going to argue this. I'm just going to move on. But in my brain, I'm thinking, there isn't just a turkey sandwich on your menu. <laughs> so, yes, if he added ham, like, let's find something that has. Jersey Mike says a turkey club. Yeah, but I'm, and I'm sure they have similar things, but she basically charged every possible thing she could. But here's where the question comes from you. When I go to Subway now, they have this add tip button. Now, every place has this stupid button. I should... I could now, fight you. We all love servers. My sister is like one of my we, favorite we, people on earth. And we've she's been, been servers. Server. <laughs> we've both been servers. My niece has been a server. I have nothing. I tip very well when I eat out. When you're if service. I'm doing takeout, no, no, no. Hang on. If I take out from a restaurant, I still yeah. Take no, food. but if I'm going to like fast food, yeah, like Burger King McDonald's. Why am I tipping for exactly what I paid for? I paid for you to give me my food. I didn't ask anything extra. You didn't have to pick up anything. 
It's like tipping at a drive-thru. Like, you just don't do certain things. And it just happens, oh, I came inside the restaurant, therefore I owe you a tip. And so there's always this debate. And I usually end up tipping. Um, usually, depending on how friendly they were to me. I, I try to be nice because I don't want to be that jerk. So yesterday, I was like, no, I'm not doing any tip at all. I was so mad she overcharged me. I was like, I would have paid the same amount regardless. I just didn't tip. But when it comes to tipping nowadays, I think it's gotten out of hand. When you get a haircut, they tell you how much you're going to tip within three standards. And they're all way more expensive than they used to be uh, for what a tip is for a haircut place. It used to be when I was going up, hey, you just put a dollar or two at their at their station. Right. Well, yeah, it used to be a percentage. It's always been like a percentage. Yeah. But now it's tipping in general has got everywhere you go, they want you to tip. It's just got, or they want you to donate to something. And as much as I would love to, it's just gotten so out of hand. So this is your, do you agree or so, disagree? No, the, the tipping drives me crazy, especially in places where I'm using the kiosk to order my food. <laughs> yes. Fuck you. Punching your face. Um, the only place I don't mind tipping that I've always tipped is Cold Stone because they, that's not easy work. So I, we usually like tip a dollar for ice cream. I, I tip at Cold Stone. I, right. No, but when I'm going to like Jersey Mike's and I'm getting a cold sub, no. Why? Why? Do you, why? What, what are you asking me? I'm going to KFC. You want me to tip you for taking my order? Yeah, and that's why I want, like, leave you it guys in the are comments. Making more, oh, I'm sorry. You guys are all making high minimum wage now. I thought that solved everything. No, the economist me told you it wouldn't. And I don't even think they I mean? get the tips. It's, it, it used to bother me when they would put a tip jar there because it's again, it's it's that guilty effect. It's like, well, yeah, you did an awesome job. I don't want to give you extra money because your food's already expensive. But now, so I want yeah, you guys I, to tell me, am I being a jerk? Because I am done tipping unless done tipping at places at that food. doesn't have a server. Yeah, like bartender servers. We're not talking about yeah. you, God. No, yeah. we're not. You're under tip. T- tip them more. <laughs> Take the tip you're giving to KFC and give it to the person yeah. at Chili's. We're gonna, we're going. Yeah, and, and I don't want to hear that how much harder it is. I remember when we worked at Burger King, there'd be like four of us working. Now there's 50 people back there working. Oh, I know. Like, like I, the I, I look at that. itself. I look at that. We had like four people. We were, should have had seven. And now they got like 20. And even when we had four, we had enough time to throw each other around and have fights. And I was making $7 an hour selling 99 cent Whoppers. Maybe five twenty five at one point at Burger King. No, minimum wage was 7 No, it was five twenty five in the beginning. In Massachusetts? Yeah. I don't think so. We'll have to look that up. I mean, my brain, I am yeah, old. Yeah, Google, so. Google solves a lot of arguments. Yeah. Amazing. Google solves a lot of arguments, but people don't know how to Google facts. But notice, I'm willing to say, maybe I was wrong. I remembered it as 525, maybe it was 725. I don't know. So I'll go back and look at it. But again, it goes back to principle. They make twice as much now. Everything, yeah, because and ironically, everything is twice as much. Huh. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but gee, who, who saw that coming? <laughs> So, so you agree with mine, and I agree. I agree. With like all these stores need to stop. At, and by the way, I'm not giving to any charity you ever ask for. I don't care. I don't care if it's three cents because you are the, what the Walmart and these places do is then they donate that and write and, it off, and they write it off. Yeah. But that's not their money. That came from me. Yeah, like that should be a separate thing. I, I do it sometimes. Like when I go to PetSmart, I'll do it to the pets sometimes and stuff like that. Oh, I do it for the. But it gets hard. I, I had, if there's an adoption stand inside or outside, that's, that's where Yeah, I did it to. about a month ago. I ended up having to go to like four stores in one day. And every single store wanted me to donate. I was like, wow, if I had done that all four times, that stuff adds up fast. Oh, C- Cindy could tell you like three years ago, I said, I'm done with this. Someone was like asking me, for, I said, stop! And she, she had to like calm me down. Because I was so tired of being asked for extra money for donation of, I don't know, whatever it is. I don't care. Yeah, so if you're behind someone and they don't I do tip, volunteer work, by the way. If you don't do volunteer work, shut up. Yeah, if, if they don't tip Except like, comment, or you see they, they didn't donate, do not judge them because they could have done it at another store or they're just fed up with the nonsense. Yeah, the fact that Burger King costs $15 now basically for well, yeah, one person. It, it, it's absolutely crazy to go anywhere to eat. I, I was, um, and I'll have to find a place later, but big shout out to a food truck I went yesterday. It was, it was cash. They didn't ask for anything and um, they kind of knew my son's, my son and their kids ended up going to the same classroom so we went there but great food but that's the type of service you should have no one asked me for anything extra it's just like oh here right. this is what it costs cool i have no problem if you tell me something costs 15 dollars and i choose to buy it there hey that's my dumb decision to buy a, buy a sandwich for 15 dollars 
But if you're putting that extra charge at the register, well, even though it's my decision, you're trying to guilt me into getting I mean, my money. Tipping is an American thing. Like, other countries don't do that. This is the only country where business owners can say, hey, customer, pay my employees for me. I didn't know that. Yeah. So I when Europeans assume. visit, they don't understand what the tipping is. Like, I mean, I employees. honestly think they need to get rid of... Get rid of it and have a real... real. Yeah, I know. Like when I went A real payment. Like, get rid of the $2. I made $2.63 as a server. So... So, like, you only get tips. Yeah. But, yeah, get rid of that. Yeah, I do. One of the biggest things when I went on a cruise last year, one of the biggest things I enjoyed about it, it was the like, first time I ever got on a cruise. It was absolutely amazing. You paid for the tips up front, and they're like, no, now you're not going to tip anyone. Or else, the whole time you're on a cruise, you'd be tipping everyone. And you'd spend thousands of dollars. Because they're much better customer service than anything you see yeah, around no, here. I'm waiting for the mailman to come through and ask for a tip soon. <laughs> he probably will. Hey, I will actually hand you all your mail today if I get a tip. Yeah, well, well, we used to have the same mailman all year long. We would give, like, Christmas stuff and every now and then. But it's, it's different people, so they're all contractors now. All right, back to the last topic I think that's all we're going to have time for. Might as well stay on the restaurant run uh, uh -oh. while we're at it. I am tired of restaurants making up for quality with quantity. What I mean by that, I go in there, like, I order a hamburger and fries. I'm like, what do you want for a second? Uh, I'll do double fries or whatever it is. And they give me cold-ass fries, but they give me a bunch of cold-ass fries. Thinking <laughs> that makes up for it. Like, here's your hamburg, Here's your bullshit fries. But we gave you triple the amount of bullshit fries as you were expecting. Yay. See, I'm not as mad at that because the person who came up with the concept of more fries is likely not the same person who gave you the bullshit nasty-ass fries to begin with. You, well, that's no, I'm that's about, a bad cook compared to a good idea. I'm talking about order... Say, say you go to Burger King, you order a Whopper and a medium fry, right? And they give you three large fries instead. But they're all bullshit. Does that make up for it? No. No, but if the concept by the person... No, not no if the concept was, you know what? We want to show our customers more appreciation. We're going to give them more fries than they used to get. If that's their concept, if their concept is we're going to do that, but we want the fries to taste worse, then I agree with you. But if their concept is the person doing it wants... To to give you better or more of it at the same quality, and then the execution just sucks, I think that comes down to a different thing. That is the person executed, the person who goes, oh, man, oh, God, I'm not getting paid enough to give <clears throat> this person three fries. Um, oh, shoot, there's the fries in there have been in there 30 minutes. Oh, well, we're just going to put them in the bottom. Like, that's on the person no, who did I, it. No, I think that, yeah, no, it's on the people that did it. This isn't one of my gripes with the owners. But I think it's just workers that are like, they're going to complain about these fries. So I'm just going to give them so many that they can't complain. Well, and the reason I don't get mad at it too much is because that is a selling point for a lot of these restaurants. Because there's so many restaurants that are all trying to differentiate themselves. No, this is so just... They're, they're like, all right, we're, we're going to try to do... We're, we want to do the place that goes a little bit more. Now, I don't usually have that problem too this much because I eat at Red Robin. And I get unlimited fries because I always do their never-ending right. fries. And they're always pretty good. So very rarely... I've got refills that have been thing. terrible. And yeah, then the refill comes out and it's terrible. And it's like, well, I would like a different refill. But it's still a great concept that they give you unlimited fries. Yeah, but right? I, don't, I don't think this is. I don't think this is a concept. I think this is people saying, if I give them so much food, they're not going to complain. Yeah, well, that's just dumb on two levels. If that is the actual concept, well, no, because it should be going to the trash. Well, yeah, it, it's wasteful, and we have enough waste. I mean, maybe we could feed some of the homeless if we weren't wasting so much food. I mean, Cindy can tell you there's a restaurant that we love. I'm not going to say the names. I'm about to bash them a little. <laughs> We love them. If I go there and I order the meal and I order double fries, it's always terrible. So I have to order fries and onion rings or pay extra for a side salad. I have to pay two fifty for a side salad and stuff. So if I can't do double fries because they're always terrible. So yeah. So I mean, if that's the case, and that's a but that's a different thing. And I mean, that's a you know that place is probably just not good at that. I don't understand <laughs> why they, they, if I get a single order of fries. They're good. If I, if I do double fries, it's bad. I, now, I, I will say that there are a lot of restaurants out there that shouldn't have things on the menu if they don't actually want to cook it. So they have, they have things where they know, oh, uh, we're going to put this just because that one customer is going to come in and ask for french fries, but we hate making french fries. Don't put it on the menu if you don't actually want to serve it. Because we've yes. all been to that restaurant where you get it and you're like, this has been here for eight, eight You're like, eight okay, I get it. You're, you're a sushi place. You don't want to actually serve chicken. Then don't serve the chicken. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, they legally have to. 
They have to serve chicken. If you if you're a seafood place, you legally have to have something that's not seafood. Really? Yeah. Well, that that sounds like uh, the one I'm throwing back at you. <laughs> Dumb things out there that I don't agree with. Like, if your specialty is seafood, serve seafood. If I want to open a right, chip because store because and, I, and I sell nothing but chips and you come up to me and say you have to now sell chocolate, it's, I'm not going to give a shit about the chocolate I give people. It's like there's certain states that bars have to legally sell food. Well, that, that, I, that I know. Um, now, I can't say I understand a complete concept, but that's something to do with the liquor license. and Right. Well, why? So, now, with food trucks, bars, they'll say, well, I have a food truck coming all the time. That's why some of the bars have that, well, you don't go to bars. They have like a thing, like a little chip bag thing. So they officially have so the, They're chip restaurants. Okay, got it. So they are my chip restaurants. Yeah, you say, hey, how, 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 when did those chips expire? They're like five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> they're basically just there. They don't have to be real chips in the bag. And I, I'd probably still eat them because they're chips. Although, all right, not to get too off topic, but since we well, answered some things. Yeah. Um, types of... Food that shouldn't exist. So I, you know, I will eat more chips than probably anybody on this planet. I've been eating chips since I was like two. <laughs> um, I've been eating lots of chips. I eat almost every kind of chips. There's a few that I'll eat. I'm like, eh, it's not my favorite. I'll eat it if I'm bored though. There were some Doritos smart food popcorn things I saw at Sam's Club. I got them like, oh, this I like smart food and I like Doritos. This is going to be absolutely delicious. Now keep in mind, my whole family likes chips. Okay. So I try them. I couldn't get past like three or four of them. I just, it, it was that bad. Well, so then I tricked kind of my oldest into eating a couple. I said, hey, you got you to gotta try these. He ate a couple and he was disgusted and he eats almost as many as I do. I have yet to find anyone who likes these chips. So where are they doing these studies where they figure out, because now I see all sorts of, hey, there's ketchup chips and there's mustard. Like, all right, you the- don't need a million flavors. Test them. Because there's no way some of these got passed. No, they're, they're probably cheaper to make, and they're going to force them to the variety packs. <laughs> Maybe. But the variety <laughs> packs of <laughs> charcoal Doritos. What? <laughs> Why are you making these? Why are you trying? Because businesses want you to buy a certain products. They don't want to sell products that you want. Yeah, it's like, oh, we have leftover product. It's like, we got to do something with it. Oh, shoot, someone spilled the ketchup in the machine. <laughs> now we have ketchup chips. We have ketchup chips. And in order, in order to buy... Regular Doritos, you have to buy a bag of ketchup chips. Yeah. <laughs> For the low, low price of twenty nine ninety nine <laughs> soon. <laughs> so we have two and a half minutes left. Did you want to get into your why is healthy food more expensive? All right. So if you go, people have told me my whole life, and, and I feel like they try to keep we're probably poor. Gonna, we're probably going to run over this. Well, we're going to run over a little bit. We tr- they try to keep poor people poor or at least unhealthy because you hear, oh, why don't people who don't have money eat healthy it's because it's too expensive and i've heard some people say well it's really not if you compare what it takes to fill someone up meal by meal by meal with healthy food compared to i can find knockoff chips and be just fine and and eat it for a meal it costs me two bucks yeah but that doesn't really fill you up long term it doesn't do it for meals it doesn't do it for meals right but if you and I've noticed this because I try to keep some fruit in the house for like my kids and stuff like that. If you eat a thousand like calories worth of lettuce and a thousand calories worth of chips, one's going to fill you up. And the other one you'll be hungry an hour later. Yeah, but I mean, because part, part of it is because fruit goes bad faster and I get it. But the price of fruit, if for yeah, instance, uh, so uh, this little container of fruit that I get from my son, it's like this big, um, probably that, that deep. It's like six bucks. So forget, it's a snack. Forget it's about a six dollar Forget about the bunch that they're cutting up. Just like a thing of blueberries. Like a pint of blueberries is like triple the, the price of a small candy bar. Yeah. Right. I, it, it makes no sense. You would think, now, it makes sense from the, I, I get the concept of, you know, it costs so much to make, but that's not why it's cheaper and more expensive. Same reason potatoes are a million times more expensive than potato chips. <laughs> uh, you get a bag of potatoes and sometimes that bag of potatoes is really expensive now. You get a bag of potato chips. Again, you can find or, it really or cheap. Or they're rotten. Yeah, or they're rotten. And you see that a lot. Like, I was told to go to this fresh, everything. not frozen place. I went in there and I turned around very quickly because it smelled very, very bad. Yeah, I, I have to I check the expiration date and everything now. If I buy a thing of strawberries, I have to go through it all just to yeah, make sure there's no but, mold on them. Because we eating, buy a package of food. That is, they're like, we don't care. We're just putting new expiration dates. I can't even picture eating nothing but healthy food. Like, if I wanted to try, like, salmon... I, I actually don't mind salmon, but I only eat it like once a year because it's expensive. 
But if you want to get an actual like healthy full course meals, you can't do it if you're poor. I don't care what like prove me wrong. Give me a now part of it, I get it. I'm picky and some of that healthy food just sounds nasty at this point in my life. But healthy food is just way too expensive to get and it gets people on these bad tracks so poor people stay unhealthy. Um and then they stay poor. Right, it makes it easier to buy, easier to eat and then Yeah. It, it, you, I, you go back and get more of it. It goes the only thing I think keeps people without money down more is um the thought and and again, we'll talk about this at a later time, is hopelessness. Uh, the, the, the concept that yeah, in poor down. neighborhoods, they get people thinking that there's no hope of getting out of it, so they don't try, so they stay and rece- repeat the cycle. People who get out of it learn, oh, there is a little hope. They find someone, they see something, but we'll kind of yeah, get hard, to that. Yeah, hard of hell. And yeah. For some reason, people are like, oh, no, so you if we didn't don't, win If we don't do the puppets because you guys listened and you gave us 100 views, or else we're doing puppets. If we don't do a puppets, we're going to talk about kind of wealth gaps and, and growing up poor and some of the things that you have to experience. Right. Now, <clears throat> poor people, you know, I obviously grew up poor. Yeah, we, we both grew um, up really, really poor, and, like raining you know, in the house. Stuff, meals together, but I don't think most of it would be considered healthy, like... Mac and cheese, which I can't stand because I don't like the smell of it, but like potatoes with hot dogs in it or SpaghettiOs yeah. and hot dogs. Like, that's not <laughs> SpaghettiOs in a can and cut up hot dogs is not a healthy meal. That's still what I eat for lunch at work all the time. But I know, yeah. but I'm, I'm just saying that's yeah, not. I, I agree. Like, beef stew out of a can, it's not a healthy meal. But you don't meal. know better because you don't have that ability to right. get the healthy food back. So, then. if you guys don't give us 100 likes, I'm bad. Or 100 views. We'll, we'll settle for 100 views for right now, but at least... Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Dude, at least watch. Can yeah. Watch, watch me before I... Share it with a friend. Hit the like button. Hit subscribe, like, help us out. You know what? You don't have to subscribe anymore. Comment, like, share. Yeah, comment, like, share. Do that. And then strangers that don't like us will subscribe because... Coming soon. Dad? Coming soon. <laughs> father? Are you my father? No. Why do you have to? Well, you have the same voice to me. You look like me. I think you are. You're, You're gonna find out next week. Yeah, uh, next week's. I need to know. 